Hello and welcome. I am Pearl Akanyo for coming up in the news. Electoral Commission outdoors and defends its controversial new logo, including other stories here on City News Daily on City TV. In our first story, a wide stretch of shoreline around the Takra de Haba in the western region has been invaded by seaweeds. This is adversely affecting fishing activities as fishing nets and outboard motors are being destroyed. Narrating the recent invasion to City News, the Western Regional Coordinator for the National Disaster Management Organization, Jafet Beide, said about 14 kilometers of shoreline was covered with seaweeds within a matter of minutes. Some residents in the area have, however, ascribed the problem to the drilling of oil in the area. Still in the Western region, residents of Axim last night staged a demonstration against the municipal chief executive and the government. After tidal waves rendered hundreds of them homeless, the demonstration was to put pressure on government to rebuild a collapsed sea defense wall in order to forestall future occurrences. Tidal waves which swept through various coastal towns in the area have displaced hundreds. Meanwhile, the National Disaster Management Organization is distributing relief items to the affected persons. The Coalition for Unemployed Nurses and Midwives says it will go ahead with plans to demonstrate at the seat of government tomorrow in protest against their continuous unemployment. This is in spite of an assurance from the Health Ministry that it has received clearance from the Finance Ministry to post them to various health centers across the country. The coalition, however, says it does not trust the Health Ministry to deliver on its promise. Therefore, it will carry on with its planned demonstration at the Flagstaff House tomorrow. President of the coalition, Adam Masahudu, tells City News Daily that only a document that conveys the government's intention will make them resent their decision. Before we go, in the midst of the backlash over the Electoral Commission's new logo, Chairperson of the Commission, Charlotte Say, has defended her outfit's decision to adopt the new logo, saying they are happy with it. Some Ghanaians pulled out very similar logos being used in other parts of the world and accused the Electoral Commission of stealing the concept and merely tweaking the colors. But defending the logo, Charlotte Say said, quote, the circle in the logo means unity, single and unified in its purpose, representing Ghana's democracy. The circle's blue color represents the stability and independence of the commission. The inward moving arrows reflect all the people of Ghana equally coming together for the common purpose, the right to select their political leadership. The use of the red, gold and green represents our country Ghana. The whole identity represents a unified common purpose and vision and demonstrates our independence as an institution. Unquote. For more news, log on to cityfmonline.com. I am Pearl Akanyo Furi, and that's all for City News Daily on City TV.